All right, before we carry on with our tutorial, we're just gonna quickly organize our files. Uh, so we're gonna create a folder, create a source folder, and an include folder. We're gonna have the very same structure as what we've done with our row game uh, in my other tutorial series. So I'm gonna link to that video where I kind of explain what's going on, but I'll just show you here really quickly so you can just follow along. So our source folder will have all our .c files. So we're gonna copy those in there. And our include file folder will include any header files. So sudoku.h goes in there. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're going to make a uh, make file. So this is our make file from our rogue game. Honestly, for now, it's just gonna be exactly the same thing. So uh, just create a new file. Um, I'm gonna paste that. Then basically what we're just gonna do is we're going to take anywhere where that says rogue and we're going to replace that with sudoku so again if you i've kind of done a basic make file tutorial in the rogue series so i'm going to link you over to that in the the video description take a look at it if you want to know what's going on um, everything is the same it's applicable just watch it but i'm not going to explain it here okay so we're just going to save this in that file, make file. Okay, so now what happens is whenever we wanna compile and run it, we just go to our terminal and we can just hit in make and uh, make file 12 missing separator. 12, should be a tab, not spaces. So it's just replaced my uh, tab with spaces automatically. Make files, you have to have a tab. It's very strict on that. Okay, and so we try and run it, but we actually, we made a mistake in our last tutorial. Um, I, when we declared this char possible here, so remember this, uh, this is basically our bit representation where, uh, oh, sorry, down, remember down here, we have our bit representation of all our numbers, right? So um, if a nine is possible, this will be a zero. You know, a nine can go in the square. Uh, but if it's not possible, it'll be a one. So basically, this number here, the zero x one ff is basically saying, um, that there are no possibilities basically there is a number there um, so it's just a it's just a number we're going to be using um, so what we actually have to do is we're going to copy this so just copy this and then change it to extern char and then possible so we're not actually going to define it in our header file because that will create problems what we are going to do instead is we're going to define it in our uh, sudoku.c, but this extern just says, okay, there will be this variable, which is of a type char, and it's going to be defined. So we can use it, even though it hasn't yet been defined because we've told the C compiler that it will be defined. And that's the best I can explain it. So at the top here, we can now define it. Um, and it won't it won't cause any contradictions. There's not two definitions, because here we haven't defined it. We've just said it's going to be defined. So char, uh, wait, no, we'll just paste what we copied. So char possible equals 0x 1ff. Uh, so save that. And then what we also need to do is we have these 2.c files and they're both including the sudoku.h. So we need to add an pound um, if and def. So this is basically a big if statement, which is saying if what follows is defined, so we'll say sudoku underscore h. So if this is defined, um, we don't execute this if statement, but then here, if it's not defined, we'll define it. So define 
do a go underscore h, and then we end the if statement at the end of this .h file. And if so, basically this file is copying all the code from here into this file, and so is this file. So if both of them do it, we're going to have errors. So we just add this to make sure that uh, no contradictions happen. Okay, so now when we try and make it, hit just make. Um, we're getting an error, we'll just ignore it for now. It runs. Okay, so at the end of our last tutorial, it wasn't running, now it is. Um, one other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add another couple extern definitions. So we're gonna do extern int, call it size underscore rows, and extern int size underscore columns. So these are just gonna be the, you know, how many rows do we have in our puzzle, how many columns. Uh, it's normally gonna be nine, I don't think we would ever change that, but because that's, you know, Sudoku has nine, but just it's good programming practice to make that a variable instead. And it'll, it'll make more sense. Uh, it'll make the code make more sense. But again, that's an extern definition, so we need to define them here. Int size underscore rows equals nine, and int size underscore columns equals nine. Okay, so now we can go into our puzzle.c and see here when it's, we're looping through the rows. So i is less than size of rows. And here we're looping through the columns. So j is less than size of columns. Uh, so that's just something we can do. We, and we're gonna have a lot of these for loops. So it just, I don't know, it makes the code easier to read for me. So go and replace all those with that. Um, okay, so I think that's kind of the organizing that I wanted to do. Let's just make sure it's running. Yep, it's still running. Okay, so yeah, in our next video, we're gonna start to uh, start getting into some of the logic. Oh, and one quick thing is I'm gonna be posting the code for the end of each video. So um, if you if you check the description of this video, you'll see what the code was like at the start and what the code was like at the end. So you uh, you can follow along that way. Where I'll be I'll be posting the code online. So 